to it. Right. Okay, what's up, guys? This is Mark Augustine here. And who am I? I'm, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 18. I've been drop shipping on, on four different platforms for over 10 years. And sold over $20, $20 million on those platforms for, for uh, over 10 years. So like the video, subscribe. What we're going to do is get into this. This is an update for one of the eBay accounts we are drop shipping on. And mm. um, this is just, just this is a very exciting video because this account is only three days old and we have hit almost $500 in sales. <music> Like the video, subscribe, get in the comment section with any questions. So, Sammy, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Sammy. I've been dropshipping on eBay for the last six years. And, yeah, it's just good to be here, man. Okay. And so, Sammy, what are we looking at here? All right. So, the first thing is, like, okay. So, within 48 hours, right, we did around $465 in revenue. Right. right? Remember, like, we made an update video like the day yesterday about the rooster, like the rooster decor, right? That was the first day of drop shipping. Right. And we did, we actually got two sales in that day. The rooster was in the morning when we started recording and we got one more sale later on that night. And we got like, um, you know, like a sale for like a, a corner table. So our, our daily profit, right? We can go ahead and we can see our order sheet. We did our, we did our, we did a, we, these are the two orders we got on Ju July 30th. So $40, $40. Mm -hmm. And we are, uh, the total we got from eBay was $87 and the cost of goods was 53. So our first day we ended up with 87 minus 53. And then that's $34. But remember, if you're tax exempt, you would have got an, you would have got an extra $6 on top of this. Right. So make sure you get your tax exempt Amazon accounts. We're going to go ahead and claim this back in the end of the year for our taxes. So, yeah. So this is going to be an actual profit of $40. Right. Remember, if you're tax exempt, you would have got exactly this profit in your first day. So, following up, this is what happened just yesterday. This is, this is today's order, right? Just yesterday, if we go ahead and see all of our orders one, two, three, four, five six right we got six orders in just the second day third day sorry and the third day is order we didn't finish all of the we didn't finish ordering all of them yet all right but if you can see like we we're doing just just yesterday itself where i think we're we did about a hundred dollars in profit right just profit yeah and we, we were not finished ordering them so we're going to order all of them today right but you can see that Let's go ahead and just open some of these items one by one. I'm going to, like, I don't want to do it too much because I remember one guy told me about the the address, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, there's no, if you no. open it, you'll give too much detail on the buyers and so on. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to do that. I, well, I, what I can just do is I can just go ahead and um, I can search this item onto our eBay account and we can find the item like right over from there, yeah. Yeah. So, so let's just go search this item, right? And then we search the title, and then we go ahead and search the custom label SKU, and press find SKU, and there we go. Forty-seven dollars. Like this is even, wow. Wow. I I bought it yesterday at fifty-nine, and today is at forty-seven. I need to cancel the order, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's because it's at twenty percent off. Yeah, look, I ordered the item. It's right over. The, I think right over here. I paid sixty two dollars, right? Right. I got seventy six, and then and then they went ahead and they lowered the price even further. I should have waited. I should cancel the order today and then go ahead and order it again. No, it's not that. <laughs> I mean, that would have been like another ten dollar. Yeah, that's actually right ten dollars. Like, yeah, so this profit rate would have been another ten bucks, right? Well. But whatever, you know, like point is we're gonna get sales every day. So just, like just it's I mean, because today it became a lightning deal. Right. So yeah, I guess you know this is this was uh like if 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 I were you guys though, like the reason why I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now is because that the Amazon account we used ran into an issue and you know we're resolving that issue. So that order has been shipped out already, so we're not gonna worry about that. Yeah. 
So what, what we have to do today would be to go ahead and then start messaging all these customers one by one, like um, whether they about their estimated time of arrival when they're getting it and then send them like a nice message and then we're going to be good to go. And I think, I think we're going to, th we already did that yesterday, so we don't need to. Yeah, we did that on, on camera, camera right? yesterday. Just know it's going to be the same process. All we do is we just, oh, we're just going to open up these items one by one and then go ahead and order it from Amazon, put it into our spreadsheet. And then, and then, and then we're going to go ahead and like, um, market as shipped and send the customer a message. Maybe we'll do one more like on, now we don't need to, it's going to be in the course, right? Yeah, exactly. That might be a bit monotonous. Yeah, exactly. Like we're here to kind of get like some, I guess like just uh, some updates in the series. So let's go ahead and do like the the most, the, the, the one thing that needs to be done on camera. That The one that's going to like, that we're going to be doing different right now. It's not different. It's just adding on to it. So just to finish off this, for finish off like today's task, so what we're going to do outside of cameras, go ahead and fulfill the orders and then <clears throat> do some customer service and set, give an update to all of the customers that they, you know, they, they're getting their items at so-and-so date. Let's go ahead and just look at some of the messages we got. Today we got like an interesting message. Huh? So this company, and they said that it has come to our attention that your company has engaged in unlawful behavior intended to harm the amazing whippet brand so they're basically giving us a warning that we're not allowed to sell their items so for anybody watching whatever you do in the situation you can tell them you can go ahead and just you know like find the item don't fight with them don't ever fight with them just go ahead and just delete the item and say yeah. that we went ahead and, we went ahead and deleted it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna write whip it just to make sure that i don't have anything with the word whip it. So I went ahead and selected it all and I'm going to press delete and listing. There we go. Right. Because the three views that came on this listing came from whip it itself. <laughs> yeah. And they let you know pretty early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and there we go. We deleted the item and then let's go ahead and create a message to go ahead and tell the buyer, tell them that we went ahead and we had, we went, went ahead and did that. Let me go yeah, ahead. but you don't have to use you 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 really use Chat GPT for every single re response. Yeah, exactly. Write a response that's formal, um, that tells them we removed the item. I mean, if it, why not? If if it takes yeah. like five seconds, you know what I mean. You should do it. <laughs> like I I try my best just to be as professional as I can, um. So. So there we go. Like it, it writes a it writes a quick response that's nice and formal. I think I think it's just good practice to make sure that all your delegations moving forward is always gonna be nice and professional. You know what I mean? I think yeah. a lot of people are scared of customer service. I am too, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? Yeah, huh? I'm interested. No, no, no. That's okay. What what affirming what? Okay. Please accept the uh... a problem with the listing. Please be advised that the item has been permanently delisted and have been okay. There we go. It's cool. Yeah. I I think people just are happy to like I think people in the end of the day just want to know that they're heard. You know right. what I mean? So so I think like in general, like I think just a good life skill is always to give like as best of customer service as you can. And you know the the I think the problem for most of us is we're all very busy. You know what I mean? Like we want to give service, you know, like we have the ideas, but it's, it's hard to translate it through our actions. Like and take the time and actually sit down and, and give the customer. Exactly. Service. Exactly. Like this message is a reflection of what I want to say to this company. Right. So that I think, I think that's the beautiful thing about chat GPT. It just goes ahead and like, Whatever I want, it goes ahead and does that. And I think in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a button over here that integrates with chat GPT and you can kind of like automate customer, like customer service. You just write like a whole bunch of notes and then it'll just take those notes and transform it into like a beautiful message specifically for your customer. Oh, yeah. So, well, all right. So that's the first thing that we did. And then the last thing, let's go ahead and just check our orders.
Um, okay, yeah. One one more thing that I did to went, go ahead and kind of like increase our sales was I went ahead and I create promotions. You know, I would go ahead and create sales every day. Like over here, I have a sale, right? It says this sale has ended. I have I have a markdown sale with the, with 145 items, and you can see these all these sales have ended. So I believe these sales are contributing to my success. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new sale. So I'm gonna let's go ahead and create a sale event and markdown, right? Let's go ahead and create the percentage five percent. Just five percent, I think, is enough. People like I did some market research and I realized that people just want a sale. That's it. They want to feel like they're getting a deal. Nothing else to it. Yeah. I go ahead and create rules using categories. Create rules, and I'm gonna go ahead and all inventory. There we go. We have 3,000. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about how many items we have. Yeah? <laughs> That's the one thing. I think the last video we showed, we had only 1,000 items, huh? Yeah, I think we were getting to 2,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and like, well, literally the second day, we just doubled it. Yeah. Include, skip their new items when they qualify. We're going to start the sale right now. We're going to put it for literally just, like, one day. Because it just... You know, if it's one day, it's if a sale that's just one day, what happens is people they feel the urgency. People to, yeah, encourage people to act right away. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and write Monday clearance. Act now. There's my call to action. Okay, there we go. We created a sale and it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to say it's scheduled. And it's going to go ahead and like um, add all of the items on our store into this sale. And it's going to go ahead and, um, you know, let our customers know that they have a, they have like there's a 5% discount on all of our items. And we can, we can give that discount because we're, I'm marking up the price by 65%. You know what I mean? I can, yeah. I could afford to give a 5% discount. Like I, I went ahead and did 65% just so I can give, you know, the sale. So guys, right. if you wanna if you wanna give a bigger sale, like fifty percent off, mark up the price by hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then start giving. But the way but the way you're doing it now, I think works because the I wouldn't. You feel comfortable raising the price by a hundred percent? If yeah, yeah, for sure. If we're gonna give like if you're gonna if go gonna, in and give the time and and put a yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like let's like yeah, exactly. Like if you go and put in the time to put the sale on every single day, which you should, like I I think it could work. I I haven't done it, so yeah. maybe that maybe that would be a good test for like a future video. You know yeah. what I mean? But I think but right, right now, now we have to let the guys that watch and know that eBay drop shipping is just about work and just about put if you follow our process. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, I think exactly. it's amazing that. We're doing this because you're seeing actual sales, guys. What you're seeing on this YouTube channel, on the on these videos that we're promoting, is actually step by step what is happening and generating sales and profit on a daily basis. So smash the exactly. like button and you definitely want to subscribe to this channel. Look in the description for links to everything. We have links to the Telegram group, links to the Facebook group, and links to Ecom Sniper. Yeah, like what whatever we're doing is not normal, right? Because what you know what like i think the the value of this series right when i first started drop shipping right i there was nothing like this available like mm -hmm. where you can go and watch someone live like we're gonna go ahead before we end this call right we're just gonna go ahead and like find like another two thousand items live for you guys so that we can take our store from like four thousand listings almost to six thousand like we're gonna do this live right we're gonna go ahead and Grab two thousand more items live, and then we're gonna go ahead and list it onto our eBay account. We're yeah. gonna go ahead and do that on this video. But the one thing, I, I, the one thing that I want your commentary on is like, you know, if you go ahead and see some of the other competition, right? They're, you know, what they what they go ahead and they advertise is this: how to set up your break even rate, how to start drop shipping from zero to break even, <laughs> and they have a three month journey. <laughs> to break even why <laughs> that's what i mean it's ridiculous right that is that is how how that is how messed up the community has become like where but all why would you make a setup way with a break even be anyway because people are not even able to break even Jesus. You know, they're, 
they're paying like for like the softwares or whatever and they can't even break even at this point anymore that's you know? crazy that's how ridiculous like this market has become right like i thought and 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 that is like one of the campaigns they run like how to break even in three months yeah that's that's <laughs> ridiculous so All guys, right. we're into this. We're into this to make money, to make a profit, to 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 pay our bills with eBay drop shipping. So we're exactly. not in this to break even. Exactly. So uh, the the one thing that you guys should be doing is you should be going ahead and like listing more of the similar items of these items. So you know, like this item sold, right? So you want to be listing more laminated machines. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this inside my search keywords, right? So this is a, what is this? A shower grab bar. So the reason why I'm putting this inside the product hunter is because uh, we're going to go ahead and find even more items that are like this because it already proven to sell, right? So we can go ahead and just like capitalize off our success. I'm not going to grow the keyword because the keyword, what it does, it finds me like a hundred items like that. You know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need a hundred items. Yeah. Like I'd rather just post a hundred of more variety, but it's always a good idea to always grow because like this item, right? Like it has eight views in like two days. That means that, you know, like people are definitely looking into this crochet hair. You know what that is? Or? Yeah, it's fake hair. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And this like motor linear LED indicator. Okay, let's go ahead for this. And there we Oh yeah, let's go get the, let's grab the rest of the items that sold as well. So that way we can and by the way, like the reason once again, like the product hunter is gonna go ahead and find us all a bunch of whole a bunch of similar items that sold like this, right? From Amazon. So we don't have to do any of the work on finding them. So picking cool bedding. Amazing. The <laughs> fact that stuff like this sells, like I would have never thought about listening. This thing does. Just yeah, amazing. That's crazy. Chicken coop bedding. Like it just like this is why you need to go ahead and use software to list items because you don't know, man. You you won't know what sells or what doesn't sell. Like I don't think you would have um you would have the capacity to understand these things. I, I don't for sure. Yeah. Or to predict. It's not to understand, but to predict these things are going to sell. Exactly. There's no exactly. Way. Like this roots, like it's just like, you know, like it, it, it defies for me, it defies my common sense. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. All right. So let's go ahead and just grab two items per search term. Let's put the maximum price of 50 bucks just to make sure that we're getting like you know, nope. relatively cheap items. Okay. Or actually, yeah, let's, you know what? Because let's, one or two of the items may have crossed 50. Okay, yeah, no worries. So let's make uh, you know what? Let's get three items per search term because, yeah, let's let's actually grow it. So if we press search titles, you know, one by one, it's gonna go ahead and for laminated machine, it's gonna get three of them, right? It's gonna get three shower grab bars. It's gonna grab three crochet hairs, three acuters, three chicken coop beddings, three leaf blowers, all within a hundred dollars. You know, so this is how you find like similar items pretty instantly. And we're gonna go ahead and list these items right now so there we go 20 of them we got it okay we can just go through them fast laminator machine yeah yeah cool well yeah these are they look good we know we know these cat we know these have proven to sell on our ebay store right these camping machines yeah yeah royal gourmets i, I don't know if that's a vero but i hope not anyways yeah this proof this has proven to work so like we literally just sold a crochet hair right now, so no reason not to sell it. Yeah. Okay, this one, yeah, like it's so we sold this as well. So okay, this the, the chicken coop, right? Yeah, we sold these too. Yeah, there we go. Like we know it works. Essentially, yeah, we know it works. Leaf blower, nice, nice. Forty nine bucks, nice. All right, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and export. Copy all all the links. Let's go ahead to our for a bulk lister. By the way, I haven't finished listing like from our last batch, but we're just gonna go ahead and clear it anyways, because we're gonna find a twenty more items after. So let's go ahead and just put the twenty items here. We import it, we press list, 
It's gonna list ten at the same time, and then, yeah, let's let's go ahead and wait for this to finish, and then let's go ahead and prepare for the next thing. Yeah. So the next thing we want to do is we want to just build our list for, um, you want to find another drop shipper, and just get another with one thousand, two thousand items. That that way we can get a whole bunch of variety. So now we're gonna go ahead and implement the sniping technique. Oh, sorry, not Canada. I'm I'm from Canada, guys. So yeah. that's why that I just by default I go to Amazon.com, yeah, at that ca. Mark, can you do the honors and give me a word to search? Um, what do I wanna? This is access. This is yeah. Go ahead. Like ju I just want to mention like I, whatever you just did is exactly what I do. The reason yeah. why you know like we have this we're using this technique to begin with. Is because if somebody asks me to pick an item, right? If I'm listing, I'm gonna spend like an hour just thinking about five words. Like that's just yeah, how especially, I am. Yeah. Especially seeing what has sold before, you don't want to repeat it. Exactly. We can look, look for a, a we can do coffee a maker. Crochet. Coffee maker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is that is probably what every you're right. That is what a dropshipper would naturally default to thinking. So let's go ahead and grab the best seller coffee maker, something that's a best seller. So that look, way we all know of those are sure. sponsored. If you look right here, Amazon Choice is good. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and search it on eBay. By the way, guys, like you gotta we gotta we gotta ignore the tabs at the top. It's literally doing all the work, you know. It's uploading the image automatically, you know, it's just doing all the work for us. So that's why it looks a little messy. Let me just go ahead and Confirm. This was the one, yeah, Mr. Coffee, twenty ninety nine. So we're looking for this guy's. Oh well, yeah, because yeah, he has eleven dollars shipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so let's. This guy, one hundred and twelve feedback. Yeah, let's just open them up. You know, maybe five hundred and eighty five. Oh well, what is this? Yeah, a lot of used stuff. Click out of this guy. Or maybe he's using images from the um reviews. I know some dropshippers use all the images mm -hmm. from the reviews. It could be. It could be. But you know what? Forget him. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't snipe someone like that. Yeah, exactly. This guy, thirty three ninety nine, open sold page. Has, well, he has yeah, twenty five sold items. Yeah, let's grab it. We we can. There's not nothing wrong. We'll just grab. We'll grab the good, and we'll. You know what I mean? And then we'll just add to our list. Yeah. So let's go ahead and clear this. Clear this. Import. We went ahead and imported 25 of the 25 new items. And let's go ahead and just scan a couple more guys. Like, you know, you it's just the same as your old seller listing. You just go ahead and open them up. And then, yeah, so open this guy up. Yeah. He has 130 items that sold. Yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and just grab these 130. And then, yeah, so it's completed. So titles, there we go. Copy that. We're good. And put the, bring it to a product hunter. And just click import. And there you go. By the way, you just want to make sure you're clearing this. Because every time, if you don't clear it, what happens is then, you know, it just keeps adding on to this list. So I just clear it out, clear it every time. You, you, do you get what I mean about that, Mark? Yeah, what's that? Did you get what I meant about that? If what, you don't clear it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll just keep yeah. adding to the, instead of add, getting a new list, it'll keep adding to the list. And when you copy and paste, exactly. it'll end up doubling up. Exactly, exactly. So there we go. Like, let's go ahead and this guy, 35 items. We just, we got him. And these are items that all sold in the last, like, I think, six, 30 days. Right. So, you know, like, it's very, it's, it's a highly curated list. So copy, you know, go ahead and just import. There we go, 188. And let's go find, like, just a couple more, I guess. Okay, this guy. Like, it doesn't matter if we don't have, we don't, they don't need to be a strong store, right? They, 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 remember, we have zero feedback. We already got six sales. Yeah. Maybe, maybe someone else is lucky not to. And if they are, like, I want to be a part of that. <laughs> no, but the good thing is we're opening, we're opening all the items that have sold. So even if it's someone with 100 feedback or 20 feedback, We'll be pulling yeah, items exactly. that, that have sold. Exactly. Already. Exactly. So we already had 228 items. Let's go ahead and just grab like 
let's grab like a thousand and then we can just scan it and then uh and put it in our bulk lister, yeah? What yeah. do you think? Okay, so grab it and then there we go. Right, and 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 our software protects you from duplicates. So it's not gonna list even if you open up the same item, <clears throat> it's not gonna go ahead and like um open up it's not gonna list the same item every time. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this guy. Twenty seven. I think we did him right. On. Oh no, this is some other guy. Whatever. It's not gonna be an issue. Yeah. Twenty nine sales. Twenty nine items yeah. have sold. Right. All right. So import. And then. So, I I feel like these dropshippers are doing well, huh? For some reason. I mean, they're doing okay. Not if you look at 29 sales in the past 30 days, that could be one sale a day. So he isn't doing great. <laughs> this mm. person has 170 sales. So yeah. these are more, when you cross 100 per, 100 per month, that's when I'll say they're doing a lot better. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So let's go ahead back to a product hunter. And then press import, 422. Let's close this one. But yeah, definitely, like I did, um, like I, I've, I've noticed, like, like, and and the, it's just the funny thing to me is, like, this guy's an interesting guy, right? Look, he, he's if he had if he's selling anything, yeah. Right, click, like, click open. Let us see. I'm just curious. Oh, uh, great! Okay. He's I'm gonna take. I, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Even that one, you know, like it that was interesting. You went ahead and marked it up so high. Oh, oh man. I'm whatever. See, if I press import again, it should fix it. Well, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fix my list. What kind of made a mistake? I pressed import twice without clearing, and then what happened is I have got a bunch of duplicates. Uh so okay, okay, okay. duplicates in new lines. So there we go. I'll, I just use an online tool that just helps me like, because in the end, we're, what we're really doing is we're building a list, right? Right. So I just put this in and remove duplicates and there we go. Right, right. So, so, you know, you're always safe. You don't have to, even if you mess up, you don't have to start over. There we go. Back to 422. Okay. Okay. And then let's get, let's go ahead and scan that, this big guy, USA World. Open seller page. No, but he's, he's, I wouldn't uh, like yeah, for instance that, that that neutral bullet. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it's Vero, the first item that he sold. And then a lot of when I see top rated plus, I generally try to stay away from those guys. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But what, what I would scroll say, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Let me see. But just what I want to say is like we're not really like copying the same items. It's gonna be no, like no, we're just using that title to get to get um exactly the leads. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so two thousand eight hundred items sold. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, that is great. He no, he sold six hundred and sixty six, but he he's he has two thousand two thousand eight hundred on his store. That's he's actually doing incredible. Yeah. Like I I think I think he might be a good lead. Like if I just look look at that. What is that? This is this is insane. Yeah. These are these are like these are not my numbers. My total that I've ever sold probably would be two hundred thousand items in total, right? Right. But this guy he's doing seven hundred forty thousand, which is in in my opinion is incredible. Yeah, and we know incredible. he's a dropshipper. Yeah, we know he's a, so guys like this. This world is very deep. You know what I mean? Like, like the, you can expect. Like I believe. Like if you go ahead and actually just take this guy's store and just drop the price by like I don't know a dollar or whatever. You could get his sales. That's not going to be our technique because it's not a sustainable method, right? But yeah, so I I, I think I, like what do you think? Should should we just grab it there? The title? Yeah, just, we can, um, we can. That will push us all the way to. Okay, yeah, because the product hunter, we do have our Vero protections already set up. Um, and what I wait, what, what, let's see his items. Yeah, yeah, like these are obscure. Like, you know what I mean. I feel like he has some interesting items. Yeah, that's interesting. I would, I would, I would definitely take his his titles. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He he definitely has. But he's doing some something interesting thing. because I'm seeing Kitchen Aid and a lot of Walmart brands. Those are fully viral. Okay, stay yeah. away from that. Right, exactly. Stay away from that. Yeah, I I know what you meant by saying that you don't want to snipe him because of that. Yeah, no, but I, it will still I, I, give us some good information, at least yeah, in the yeah. categories and the niches. So you could you could take those six and right. I would say take it. Exactly, but for anybody watching, do not sell KitchenAid. You know what I mean? Like yeah. don't don't copy his items because these items have like thousands of like ten thousand reviews or hundred thousand reviews on Amazon, and you know for sure that's gonna go ahead and give you a Vero suspension. Right. Don't so don't do that. Anyway, so let's just grab these keywords and we should be should be good to go. Let's go ahead and import it. And there we go. We have a thousand, we have a thousand items. So let's see the status of our bulk list here. It's almost done. So it's at 20 out of 20. So when this yes. batch of items finish listing, then we can go ahead and like put it in our new list. So we just went ahead and listed 20 items casually just to grow our list, right? Oh yeah, the, the, I forgot. Another thing that we have to do, like we got a recent sale. So we have to like increase the quantity right like for this this item i didn't I, I, we haven't increased the quantity for this one yeah yeah right it's gonna be out of stock and so let's go ahead and, uh... yeah yeah exactly let's go ahead and just uh, add quantity back to the size so yeah like i like i think everybody watching is like they're able to see like what we do on a daily basis this is this is the process yeah you're adding quantity you know like you're you're at, you're you're working. You're you're managing your eBay store. That's what it is, yeah. And yep. we just have like a whole bunch of automation tools that just goes ahead and makes it a lot easier. All right, so there we go. We added the quantity back for that item, and then we're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna have Vince order the rest of the items. I think that'll okay. be better because he cause he already has like he needs to get used to it, and I think like there will be the less latency. After the call, we'll just do like a short. Like conversation about moving forward, what to do next, yeah. Okay. So guys, yeah. Okay, so so we went through the entire process. You guys should be familiar now with how we snipe using ecom sniper. If you're not familiar, please comment and let us know if we could do some other if you would like similar videos. Okay. You've I mean, we gave it an update where we sold how many sold today? Six items today. Well, um, yesterday we sold six items. In total, right. we sold nine items nine. so far. And today's just getting started, right? We're gonna see how many sales we get just today by the end of by the end of today. It's and only this 10 is on a, and this is on, on an account with no feedback. So you Zero guys watching feedback. this have no excuse to not exactly. start drop shipping on eBay and like now. Exactly. You exactly. can easily it, follow us, follow our journey with drop shipping on eBay and yeah, like it's it's you should have no excuse if you're based in the US, even if you're in Canada or the UK, you should have no excuse to start. This is a number one side hustle for 2023. So exactly, exactly. And and just I think I think just closing off, like um, I just want everyone to know what we're gonna be doing next, right? It's all all we're gonna do is we're gonna press search title and I, let's let's I'm just gonna run it right now just so yeah, you guys can it. see what's going on. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put I'm gonna grab just two items per search query. So that means if I grab two items, I'm going to get a, a yield of 2000 items and mm -hmm. we're going to put those 2000 items onto our eBay account once we find them. So let's press search titles and then it's going to go ahead and scan these titles one by one. Remember we got these titles from other drop shippers. So we know these items are selling. So that is like our biggest benefit. We're going to find 2000 new items that are selling on eBay and we're going to be listing them onto our eBay store. So, and just by exporting them and that's it. We're just going to wait for this progress to finish. So the last thing I want to say, <clears throat> uh, the roadmap moving forward, what is our goal? You know, so we have like one, you know, our first milestone that we're going to reach is we're going to get to 10,000 listings. Right. You know, so that's the, that's the first milestone, 10,000 listings. And then the second milestone would be to get to 25,000 listings after that. So if anybody is having a problem with slow sales or they're not getting sales, what's the answer? List Just more. keep listing. Exactly. Just keep listing more, right? So our goal is we're going to go ahead and document this series all the way to 
three thousand a month in profit, like profit, not revenue. Yeah. Right. We're gonna we're gonna go and ahead we and are, like we're a hundred dollars in. So from the initial sales, we have already profited more than a hundred dollars. I think about hundred and forty. Yeah. You know? So so yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, Thanks guys. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. Ch Thanks for joining. And if you want to join in on any of these videos to show up on YouTube, leave a comment in the comment section. All right, peace. Yeah. All right, take care.